I'm Jim Perkins. I direct the blood bank at Evanston Hospital and uh, direct a small organization just starting up called the Indian Immunohematology Initiative that has now run six workshops in blood group serology, the um, science of blood group antigens and the antibodies that people make against those blood group antigens. Um, and how we uh, determine uh, the presence of those problems related to those things in the laboratory. Here today with me is Lapakshi from New Delhi, where she's a technician who has taken part in two of our workshops. We've had the opportunity to have her come to the United States and spend a month honing her skills and taking part in more and more complicated testing. I'm graduated in medical lab technology and now doing my post-graduation in medical lab technology by distance education. What I see in my lab in, in my test tubes is the same what is happening in the patient's body and we really understand how important is this to solve that problem and give a safe unit of blood to that patient. It's really scary to issue an incompatible unit of blood to a patient. It can cause their life. In India, uh, most of the blood banks do the blood grouping of patient and they cross match the donor unit with the patient sample and they get it. They don't do the screening of blood. But if we do the screening before the cross matching, we get to know at the time of, at the time before the transfusion that this is a problem and we get the time to solve it. What impact did the workshops have on practice at your hospital in Delhi? These problems occur because there are some blood group antigens which make, the, uh, against which the patient make antibodies and it's hard to get a compatible or you can say a safe blood for those patients. That's what we see in the laboratory. So these workshops help me in, uh, to, uh, in improving my skills and solving those problems in, uh, in a short period. A lot of times because of lack of knowledge, lack of skills and lack of resources, we, we issue a least incompatible blood that means uh, that is not totally matched with the patient sample so we are scared of having a hemolytic transfusion reaction i think training a technician or a medic is more important than training a physician in immunology because we are working in the lab we are seeing those reactions in the test tubes and we are the one who solve the problems we need to be trained so I think these workshops are the most important thing for a technician to learn these things. What about the material resources? We, we need to have that knowledge of doing that, that we can prepare our own panels, our own reagents to solve those problems. We can create our own resources. We need to have that knowledge. The panels that you're buying come from Switzerland. Is that a problem uh, for of identifying course. blood group antibodies? Of course, because Switzerland is a different place and the panels come from Switzerland are those donors who live in Switzerland. And India is totally a different place where the people had a different kind of picture in their blood. They don't relate to the Switzerland donors. So if we screen the patient living in India with the Switzerland donor, it's not as safe as if we do the screening by Indian donors. What can we do to address that problem? More workshops so that most of the people in India, most of the med techs like me can come and learn and improve on their skills. We can create our own resources and solve the problems at the hospital in a short time. Tell us a little bit about um, what you were able to do on your trip here compared with taking workshops. I got the big exposure here. I, I, I did at least once I did all the exercise I, I really need to do for my patients in India. I like sharing of knowledge 
which is here in United States I have seen. This is one thing I really like about all the, th all the labs in the United States, that everybody, if they know something, they share it with each other and help others to learn it, to progress. Do you think the work of the Indian Immunohematology Initiative is important? It is playing a big role in providing a safe blood to the patient as they are making us able to solve those problems on our own. What do you think we should be doing in the future? Connecting more and more workshops, training people in India, training medtechs in India to solve these problems, communicating with them that how are the problems they face, how do they solve them, sharing a lot of knowledge.